sometimes I think that the thing you don't want to do is the thing that you probably actually should do. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. So it has been two weeks and a day, technically, since uh, we started back to our basics and getting back into the weight loss. Can you put up a graphic that's like, back to basics, Crocs something, something no? Maybe. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna, we're giving you a little update. So you may be wondering, and you may be wondering what I meant by that little intro there. The thing that you don't want to do is the thing that you should do. It has multiple levels to it. I'm assuming it does. So the first thing I didn't want to do today was anything. Uh, definitely not film a video. Um, and then, you know, cause it's Tuesday right now. So for Wednesday's video, usually we'll film on like Monday or Tuesday. Sometimes we film on Wednesday, just if, depending if things get behind, but I was just feeling depressed and I just really didn't want to do anything. And I was like, I don't want to do the video today. Brian was like wanting to do the Instagram live thing. I was like, I don't want to do that. He's like, do you want to go out and about and do something? No, I don't want to do that. And then I laid there and I was like, hmm, this may be one of those times where all the things that I don't want to do are probably the things that I should be doing. Um, yeah. So let's start with making this video. I started thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I think a lot of the things that I'm going through right now, actually it would be helpful for me to talk through in this format. Um, because these videos are just as helpful for us a lot of times as they are for you. And we never want to make it sound like, oh, we're just making a video for the sake of making a video. Like honestly, if I was feeling that bad and I didn't want to make a video, we'd just skip a video. Um, we've done that before, but um, I think sometimes that putting your feelings out there, it, you can not only help others, but it also helps you to kind of talk it through and get it off your chest a little bit instead of just bottling it up inside. Yes, but the first thing that I wanted to actually go through is uh, that these two weeks have actually been incredible for us. Yes. Um, we, have, we have stuck to plan. If you guys watched our live prep stream, which was five hours. Five hours on Sunday. It was insane. <laughs> and I had a blast. Like that was honestly one of my favorite days. Like it was so fun for me to share that with you guys and to have all you guys. I was so just like humbled and overwhelmed with everybody who stuck with us all day or who's been giving us feedback. Um, if you didn't watch the whole five hour live stream, <laughs> which I don't blame you, I did go through and mark a bunch of different timestamps when we did all the different prep things. So if you're just like, I don't really want to watch the whole thing, but I want to see when they sliced banana peppers that you can literally just skip to that point. Yep. Um, so yeah, the way that I'm feeling today and all the stuff I just talked about it, like I should be on top of the world right now. Like I'm two weeks into being back on track. I've been doing really good. I'm down like 15 pounds actually. And I am down almost 20 pounds yeah. actually. Yeah. So like we're feeling better physically than we have been in a while. Um, but that being said, it, we talk about a lot of times like getting back on track is, is, you know, losing weight we know is going to be easy for us. Cause like actually losing the pounds when we're sticking to what we're doing, it's easy for us. Yeah. The physical side of everything is, is straightforward. You know, you eat this particular way, you eat these particular things and the weight starts to come off. You know, you start to feel better. It's like that part of it has always been uh, fairly straightforward. Not necessarily easy, but fairly straightforward. The psychological aspect of, of us, at least, has always been the harder aspect for us to deal with. Yes. And I am very big on... I, I spent over 30 years of my life not really being vocal or talking about any of my mental health issues, um, except for like with Brian, obviously Brian and my mom and you know, people who were really, really close to me knew about it, but I spent so long not talking about that stuff. And now I am a big, now that I've gotten some help for it and I do go to therapy and I do take medicine, I am, I talk about it a lot now because I know that there are other people out there like me who felt like they couldn't talk about it before or felt like they were less than, or, you know, they were, there was something wrong with them, or they, you know, 
weren't good enough if they couldn't do it without getting help or any of those kind of things. And I just want to be an advocate for, hey, like we're all in this together. A lot of us go through the same stuff. A lot of us have the anxiety. A lot of us have depression. Um, and so for me, the mental aspects of it come into play. So we, we kind of want to do this as like a little update. It's like two weeks into getting back to basics, back on track. Um, and yeah, it's easy for us to lose weight, but it can be hard mentally to stay in that zone of like not slipping back into old tendencies and that kind of stuff. Because as we've said before, I crave some kind of comfort. And for me, my entire life, comfort has been tied in with food. And so it's, and, and it's just, the thing is, I get comfort by eating the food that we eat now. Like we made all that amazing food yeah. on Sunday and like I had the stuffed peppers for lunch. Super awesome. Super very, amazing. Very good. But that being said, you know, last night I wasn't even hungry at the end of the night, but I just wanted something. I just wanted to eat more. And, um, you know, I, I kind of started getting a little bit depressed in, in, a, in a bad space mentally. Um, for me as a woman, uh, I do tend to go get to a pretty low place when it's about to be my period. Sorry guys out there who don't want to hear about that stuff, but it's all part of life. Um, and so I know that like there's a couple of days beforehand that it's like the hormone, the hormonal like just imbalance and all that stuff just kind of really starts to mess with me. And, um, you know, last night was one of those times where I just, we were about to go to bed and I was like, Brian was going to stay up and play video games. And I was like, can you just come to bed please? And then like, and he's like, well, okay, I really want to play video games. But like, I just, you know, started crying and like pouring my heart out and being like, this is what I'm going through. And so in those moments, do I want to go back and like, you know, eat stuff, whether it be the whole food plant-based stuff we have here or something else entirely, like, yeah, I do. Do I struggle? Do I have that back and forth? You know, is that how I got into, you know, where I was in the first place? Yes, probably. Um, and so I just want to let you know that it's not, we're not, it's not like we're like, oh yeah, we're doing good. Now we're just going to be doing great forever. You know, there still are those moments. And if you're out there and you're having one of those moments where you're like, how do I, you know, deal with this? How do I not turn to food? How do I not go back to the way I used to eat? Um, I I can share with you some of the tips, I guess, that have worked for me over the last couple of days. Um, what do you think? Sure, if you want to. So I think that last night, the one that really worked for me was, I really wanted something after we were done with our salads. A few hours later, I was like, ooh, I, I, again, I wasn't even hungry. It's not like I was like, I'm starving. Uh, it's not like I hadn't eaten enough. I ate tons during the day. Like I ate plenty. Um, and I really wanted something else to eat. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a nice cup of hot tea and then I'm going to go to bed and call it a night and that's going to be it. And sometimes just making that little decision of like, okay, this is going to be something I enjoy that will give me some comfort, but it's not going to derail me off of my eating. Mm -hmm. Now today, um, again, I was like, a few hours ago, I was in a place where I was just like, I don't want to do anything. I feel depressed. I just want to eat. I just want to whatever. And I'd already eaten lunch. And like, again, I'm not hungry. It's just that comfort of eating. Um, and so Brian was trying to go through the list of like, okay, should we go outside? Should we go for a walk? Should we do something? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Me always trying to offer solutions to problems. <laughs> yeah. And, and what we ended up deciding ultimately was that, you know, I should just get up and take a shower. I should just, you know, especially now where we're all working at home or we're lounging around in our pajamas all day, you know, sometimes just getting up, taking a shower, blow drying your hair that day, you know, putting on some real clothes, putting pants on, <laughs> like just making that little effort. Um, and it's just like, maybe today isn't going to be the most, you know, like successfully driven, getting everything done kind of days. But if you can at least make that effort and get up and do something, then I feel like you, you know, you've achieved, you've, you've done something. So by the time I got up and decided I wanted to shower, then all of a sudden I was like, Ooh, you know, it would be fun. Like, let's go out and buy some Christmas presents later. Like, 
let's, you know, film a video, let's do the live thing on Instagram. Like I wanted to do that stuff, but it just took me getting up and doing that one little thing. And now like eating is the furthest thing from my mind right now. I'm like, once okay. you get the ball rolling, it's usually easier to maintain it and keep it going. Yeah. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah. So the whole thing about the thing that you don't want to do, if there's something in your head that you're like, man, I really don't want to do that. A lot of times too, if you have a task that you're anxious about or you're worried about and you're like, oh man, you know, I need to do that, but I don't want to do it. Like if you just do it and get through it, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And mm -hmm. I think I do a lot of that like procrastination of things and let it build up and all that. Sometimes the best way is just through. <laughs> yeah. Go through to the other side. Um, but yeah. I mean, for me, I was kind of going through, uh, not necessarily depression, but je definitely a, a sense of, I just don't want to do anything. Like, you know, getting work done for actual work stuff, getting video stuff done. I've been procrastinating on the next video that we got to put up Friday, mm -hmm. hint, hint on what it might actually be, uh, uh -huh. and, and all of that. And so we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do as far as today's video. And, and she was throwing out ideas and I was just like, I really just like, I, I really just think that we should just update, you know, we should just tell people how we're feeling, how we're doing and all of that. And like we said. Food-wise, we're doing fantastic. Yeah. The food has been absolutely incredible. It's we been yeah, we haven't had like one off yeah, anything at all, like whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. Like we've been doing super good. Everything's been super tasty. Yeah. Um. You know. Yeah. It's been the weight is coming off. Like we're we're in a really good place. Yeah. Which but, is, which is honestly one of the best things for me because one of the one of the ways that I know a lot of people get off and especially for for someone like me is it's a convenience factor mm -hmm. and if I know that there's food that I've prepared in the refrigerator then I'm going to eat that food before yeah. I even remotely think about doing something yeah. bad or doing going out there and doing any of that kind of stuff and so it's that it's that planning ahead that it always keeps me on track it's it's those set of rules that I put in place the structure that I put in place that I don't bend or break from that that keeps me going. Now, like she said, with with some of the psychological stuff, it was for me this morning, I could feel that laziness kick in and I could feel like that desire to just not do anything. And frankly, if she had just been like, no, <laughs> then I mean, we probably would have just done nothing anyway. Yeah. Uh, but I, at the same time, it's like, I'm trying to fight my nature. I'm trying to fight the nature that that made me fat in the first place. And by, by fighting that, I just start throwing out suggestions like, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's go do that. And, and while even in my own mind, I'm thinking, no, I don't really want to do those. <laughs> I'm still thinking, like she said, it's the thing that you don't want to do that you, you know, sometimes need to do. And so even because I didn't want to do anything, I still wanted to I yeah. still wanted to get something done and get something out there and feel accomplished about something and, and just generally keep, get myself into gear. But I can honestly say that weirdly enough, and just, just to go, just goes to show how my brain actually works. When we first started this and we were telling, telling you all that we, you know, we we're going to take like a, a, a break from like recipe development and, and posting videos that are that kind of stuff. Immediately. That's what my brain switches to, to where now I'm like sitting there and I'm just like, Oh, that would be a good dish that I could develop. <laughs> and then it's like the next day, Oh, that would be a good dish that I could develop. And it's like, this stuff just keeps going into, into my head, but I know I need to focus on the recipes that mm -hmm. we started with the recipes that, that got us down, you know, uh, hundreds of pounds and, and really got us onto this path and really got us into where we are. And, and, and so that's what I'm doing. And so I'm sticking to my rules. I'm not, I'm not doing it until I'm good and ready. And I feel like I am, I am fully capable of, of staying on track while simultaneously yeah. developing another recipe. Now, that being said, we do have a couple of our staple kind of recipes that are still yes, that lurking is true. out there that may come out, you know, within the next few weeks or so, hopefully. Yes, recipes um, that we have been making this entire time yes. that we just never that made videos for. That we keep mentioning for. and you guys are like, where's that recipe? Where's that recipe? But it never appears. 
uh, jambalaya. <laughs> um, so good, good recipe too. Uh, yeah. So we do have. It's not to say we won't have recipes coming, but but we definitely are focusing on us right now. But we wanted to ask you to a question, it, and our question for you is: What else do you want to see from us in this little back to basics mode that we're in right now? We've done the what we eat in a day video. We've shown you, um, you know, our top five recipes that we make during weight loss of our own recipes. We have uh, done the prep, the five hour epic prepped live stream. We've done, given you some tips. Like what else do you guys wanna see? Do you want just, you, do you want more updates like this where it's just, hey, here's where we're at, here's how we're doing every few weeks. Um, do you wanna see what we eat in a day? Like another what we eat in a day? What else, what other kind of videos do you wanna see to get you either, whether you've already started doing the back to basics and getting back on, you know, being whatever along with us, which I know a lot of you have, or whether you're kind of prepping yourself for the new year and what you're gonna do next year, what other content would you like to see from us? Um, so comment below and let us know. But other than that. Yeah, I'd say uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click the bell that is right next to it so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Uh, you can also find us on social media, Instagram and Facebook, but keep in mind, we are doing Instagram Lives it, pretty much every day. Uh, if not every other day and having a blast doing that yes. and we love absolutely love interacting with you guys uh, On there even yesterday. We had yeah. somebody on who was a huge inspiration uh, Yeah, we had Jennifer and she's from Brighton uh, in the UK and she is 72 she started going plant-based when she was 67 and she has been like she's our inspiration she, We're like have you messed up at all over the five years? She's like little bit but not like major like we ha we have <laughs> yeah but she you know just goes to show you it's never too late to try to do this kind of lifestyle and never too late we really love getting on there and being able to interact with with you guys on on kind of a one-to-one -one, two to one i guess basis but with an audience who can ask questions and also learn from it as well yes uh, also, uh, you can like and share the video if you want to get this out to more people. And, you know, if you like it, it's really simple. You just got to click that thumbs or up. Or right there. you can dislike it. Or Maybe you can dislike hate it. Us. That's fine, too. <laughs> uh, but I think that's all I got. That's definitely all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye. Did Peef get bigger?